Hey YouTube, well I figured this would be an opportune moment to make a test drive video of uh, my 2008 Lexus IS 250. Uh, of course push button starts, just put your foot on the brake, hit the engine start button. Um, the engine's kind of cold right now, right now we're at 60,122 miles. Um, and the AC is on because this is Georgia and I just honestly could not survive without it. I'd die in the heat. So I think this might be my first test drive video, so I hope you all enjoy, and I hope I don't get too many stares for um, having a camera on a tripod, a tripod, can't talk to a tripod in the um, back of my car. The engine's kind of cold, you can you can just hear drag injection just ticking away. Interesting Ford Flex that lives in our neighborhood, just drive by. I don't really know what to say in these test drive videos, so I might shut up here in a little while and not talk. This particular model is the um, base model. It's got the optional uh, lighting package. It comes with the um, HID headlights as well as uh, adaptive front lighting system. Basically, the swiveling headlights whenever you turn. Uh, it's got the optional six feet automatic, and besides that, everything else is standard. It's obsidian paint, black leather interior. I know a lot of people give the uh, give Lexus flack for having this engine, but I honestly don't. Um, I don't see what's wrong with it. I I, I know it doesn't make as much power as the uh, two-liter turbo that's in the um, like a, a BMW 3 Series or. Uh, but honestly, for a 2006 design that has direct inject um, uh, direct injection and. Uh, uh, from Toyota, especially direct injection from Toyota in 2006, I think that's quite a feat in itself. Uh, it pushes 204-ish horsepower, 184, I think, pound-feet of torque. Um, I don't think those are bad numbers, per se. Uh, and, and plus, I don't know if you can even see my range display, but I right now it's just 29.9, but it was saying 30.4 earlier. And I, I honestly cannot gripe about that. Um, it gets it gets a heck of a lot better with gas mileage than a lot of cars that were in its class in 2008. Uh, in 2008, you see, there was the there's the new Mercedes C300. There was the BMW 328. There was the Audi A4. Was, that was a 2.0 turbo at the time, yes. And then there was the Volvo S60, which at that time was just an also ran. Um, yeah. Personally, my, for 2008, my two favorite cars in this class were the BMW 3 Series and the IS. I don't really, I didn't really like the um, the C class when it came out in 08. Uh, I think they did a heck of a lot of improvements for 2012 and 2013 with the interior, especially because the 08 just has so much Chrysler influence in it behind this charger. I think this is a 2.7 liter charger. What? Come on. Come on, let's go. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I think it sounds pretty good, honestly. The six-speed automatic is a very good transmission. Okay. Charger, it's 45 to here. But I guess you want to get 35. And this Volvo behind me is riding my tail. Okay. Now they decide to go. 
Oh, what was I saying? I was talking about the transmission. It's a really good transmission. It it shifts exactly when you think it needs to shift. Um, I have nothing good to say. Uh, I've never driven the 6MT model with the 2.5 liter V6. I've heard it's not very a very good manual transmission. Um, I'm perfectly happy with leaving it in drive, uh, but it is kind of fun putting it in sport mode with the paddles or the gate down here. Speaking of the car, general, the gauges are some of my, are one of my favorite parts of this car. I think Lexus does do a good job with their gauges. They are quite attractive. It's pretty silent here. There's there's a bit of wind, um, wind and road noise. Uh, it's got very low profile tires on it. And the AC in this car is incredibly strong. It's set at 74 right now and I'm freezing. This intersection usually is not this busy. That subway is usually not this busy. Um, I really don't know what to say right now. So I guess I'll be quiet. Speaking of S60s, there's a lady jamming out in one of hers. It's a black old one. It's pre-refresh of the last gen, so it'd be early 2000s. As you can see, there's a lot of trucks here. Oh, there's a new Civic. I think that one's an EXL. It's got fogs. There's a rabbit. I really see rabbits here. Got base. It's a hub. It's got hubcaps though. A green light would be nice. Really, I mean, a green light would. There's no one coming. get these traffic lights sometimes. It's red every way but the way people are coming. Thank you. And now I'm behind a Mini Cooper and it's not Ness, so they better get that 120 horsepower going. Now this is going to rattle you around. I hate that railroad track. Watch for motors. Great, great. Apparently they're doing work along this road. Speaking of the radio, I'm not going to turn it on because I know I'll get copyright issues. Um, but there's another IS. Oh, it's Nebula Gray. Very pretty color. Uh, but it's just a basic Lexus premium audio system. It packs 13 speakers. Um, it's a really great sound system. I've never heard the Mark Levinson unit in this car. I can only imagine what that sounds like. Um, but honestly, I have nothing but good things to say about this. This base audio system is very, very crystal clear. I think it's a good way to say it. Interesting S two 
thousand. Let's say no hood. C Max, not seen one of those on the roads before. This XC90 behind me needs to really get off my tail. I guess I should have thrown it over in sport mode to show you guys. Whoops. <laughs> That'll be another video for another day. You can really notice the road noise right here. See, okay. I don't know if I put it in a good position or not. The seats are very comfortable in this car, too. I do like the seats. They've got really good thigh support. Um, the lumbar is in just the right place. Uh, they've got good shoulder support, I guess you would say. Uh, the bolstering is, it's not over bolstered, but yet you don't slide around. You slide around just, just a little bit, but not, not too much that it's annoying and uh, not to the point where you wish that there was more. It's a pretty uninteresting test drive, sorry, but the um, the roads around here are pretty uh, uninteresting as well. And it looks like we are behind a very attractive Mercedes ML. ML350 Bluetech. Very nice. I really like those SUVs. And this pretty much concludes our test drive. I am going to Sonic, judge me. I think I might film, there are a lot of people here, was not expecting that.